Okay, so this is my Jewelit uh, Burr coffee grinder. Um, I've used quite a few coffee grinders over the uh, over the years, but I find that the Burr coffee grinder gives me the finest um, the finest grind. And basically, why I have that grind is because when I'm making a coffee, I don't filter it. Actually, all I do is get the coffee measure it and then put that straight into the cup just add hot water let it settle for two minutes and then uh, creamer and it's delicious but more about the grinder so um the hopper you can take the top off you can remove the hopper and this is a 250 gram hopper this uh, it only goes on in a particular way you've just got to get it right and then as you can see on the side the uh, once it's in you can turn it for the for the size of the grind that you want so turning it uh, anti-clockwise gives you the coarsest grind and clockwise gives you the finest grind and obviously that's the one that i want um your grinds actually go in here so they come out of the the from underneath the burr grinder there through there and into the holder on the side you've got uh, your portion control so if you just want to do it one cup at a time or if you want to do as much as possible, that's your control there. And we just move that back. So just before I do it, you, that's the that's the grinder itself there. And that just, just literally, like I said, fits in. Get the top, pop it on, set it to fine for me, and then get the beans in the go. And it's, I mean, I've had the, the Krupp grinders and everything. Um, this, is the, this is the first burr grinder that I've had. And I find it a lot quieter than all the others. So I don't need to put the top on because it's not going to jump out anywhere. And once we've switched it on, just press the button, make sure it's on fine, make sure it's on maximum. And that's it. So it's 45 seconds for a full grind. Um, so I'll cut the video here. So all done and dusted, uh, and I've got to do quite a few of these, but, but that, you can see it, is the grind, and very, very fine. Uh, with the Krups one that I used to have, I used to have to run it through twice, but, but not with that, that's fine. And then, all I do, homemade funnel, pop it in, the coffee in there like that. put that to one side and repeat the process now the only thing that i will say about this is uh obviously the beans are oily um and it does tend to clog and all you've got to do is just pop your finger in like that and that'll unclog it but that's it so we'll go again and let's just repeat that until i've got enough coffee the better funnel this time much easier to use when you find the right one. Take the top off, pop it in. It takes about, um, to fill this, it takes about uh, one and a half hoppers, but it's a really fine, um, a really fine coffee when you've finished. So once it's in the coffee cup and the hot water's in, it settles rather than you having lots of floaters. So just just means that you don't have to filter it, which is good. Big recommendation on this one.